Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another type of index that is nothing but TTL. That is uh, it is in full form is time to live. <clears throat> so TTL indexes are special type of single field indexes that MongoDB can use to automatically remove documents from a collection after a certain amount of time. So that means these indexes are a special single field indexes. So after some time, after a particular period of time, the documents will be automatically removed from the collection. So these are time to use. So how much time to be existing in the collection? So we are deciding. So that is nothing but in time to use indexes. <coughs> So this index will be applied only to the document field which have a date. So these are the, so these are useful for certain type of information like machine generated event data, logs or session information. So that needs to that only needs to be persist in a database for only a finite amount of time for a particular period of time only. These data should exist afterwards it should be automatically deleted. So those type of scenarios we will use this TTL logic. Normally, we'll be using it in the sessions data. If you go into here, let's assume that we have a db dot sessions dot insert one. So I'll be inserting here one, and let's say that we are having some data, okay? And here we'll be having a created it. So the name can be whatever you want. You can keep it. Normally, we'll keep last modified date or something like that. So here you can have new date. I'm using the new date. So a new new key has been inserted. So if you try to see db dot sessions dot find. So here you'll be having an ID data and also the create date. Now what I want to do is I want to create an index to this one so that after a particular period of time, the documents which have been expired, it should be automatically it should be deleted. So that means we can create using db dot <coughs> sessions dot create index. Okay, for the collection, I am creating an index. So that is nothing but we need to apply only for the date, which I chose the date. And here I can use expire. Okay, expire after seconds. So we will be using something like expire, expire after, it should be after seconds, expire after seconds. And here we can give the number of seconds. Let's say that I am giving 5 seconds. So after 5 seconds, it should be deleted. Now index has been created. So for example, if you try to see db.sessions.find. So this item, this document will not be deleted. Why? Because it has been created before the creation of the index itself. So if you create the in index, uh, if you created documents after the index means, before the index means, those items will not be uh, deleted. Now, if you try to add a new document, so the indexes will be reevaluated and it will apply to all the documents which doesn't have an index also. It will be reevaluated. Then afterwards, it will be deleted. Now, five seconds, I think it has been passed. So if you try to see, still it is existing. Let's try to insert another document db.sessions.insert insert one. And here I will try to do name or data, whatever the data you want, you can keep it. Here I will add some data. And we'll be having and created it. So here I will try to use new date. Okay. So now a new one is inserted. Let's try to check the find. So here you, if you try to check this find. Now index has been passed. Automatically that one is deleted. Now this ASDS, ASDS is there. So which, 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 which will take some 5 seconds of time. So now the index has been updated. When we inserted index has been applied. It has been deleted. Now this one also it will try to delete it. If you try to see after some time so maybe some time so we cannot guarantee time so far for example it depends on the timing and also the depend on the mongodb server time and execution so it will take some time to be deleted so we cannot guarantee it that it will be deleted of some for a particular period of time or something like that we cannot uh, we cannot assume it so normally it will run for every 60 seconds the this delete operation will run Okay, so now uh, that is the uh, that is how it will be running. So now it is deleted. See, so like this, the data. If you have a data, if you have expired documents, it should be deleted. Means you can use the TTL logic, and we can delete those all the items. 
so this is the one of the index which is more useful when you want to have a when you want to get automatically deleted a finite amount of document means we can use this ttl expire after seconds this is one of the thing okay <clears throat> so hope you understood about this ttl index if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you